Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be doing the unboxing for Conflict 47's German Army Starter Set. Okay guys, let's move this over here. Let's zoom in a little and let me show you a little bit of the box art. Okay, I believe that is a spiny like Panzer Mech with two German infantry next to him in uh, Heavy armour, which I'm assuming is similar to power armour. And some American infantrymen, one with a shotgun, I think one's got a bar. Wait, waiting in the barn. Looks like one of them is already down dead. Let's come back out. Okay, let's take a, well, let's have a look at the sort of side art. You can see sort of some of the infantry. Close up with the, uh, some undead Germans. And one of the tanks. Let's turn it over and have a look at the back. Okay guys, let's zoom in just a little. Okay, this is what it would look like after you've built it and we're very good at painting. So not what my army will ever look like. Okay, there's a bit of fluff in the... Uh, here. So unfortunately I'm not going to do any reading here, but in, um, in, in 1947, March, this is when the conflict continues. Due to a heavy um, winter, it had to be held off. Okay, you also get some... Um, these markers, I remember, were in Gates of Atari's. Another video I will be doing at some time. You get some dice, order dice, and a little rule book. Let's come back out. Let's open up and have a look what you get inside. Okay, well, obviously, you get a rule book, some nice little rule pieces in the inside, nice, some nice little artwork. What some of the weapons actually do. Again, the artwork from the front, Americans in some heavy armour, and you get some more stuff like that during the game. Sorry guys, if you hear footsteps in the background, it's our little dog. We've just got a new puppy, and he's actually making it quite hard for me to do this. Okay, here's your play sheet. Now, play sheets, let me turn the light off behind me so we do not get a glare. Play sheets are extremely useful. They basically show you, well, I keep saying basically here a lot, show you what, you know, what to do with shots, shots modifiers, what to do with damage in vehicles. So, as you can sort of see here, um, soft arm skinned vehicles and... Oh, wow, so... Oh, this is good. Yeah. Oh. So there's like damages and what, what some of the other weaponry does. These are extremely useful. They have them actually in um, bolt action starter set. Straight away, some stands. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way. There's a bag of ooh, yellow dice, not the white ones that you got in the American set. And a set of black dice, which I thought was going to be grey if I'm honest. Kind of happy it's not. Okay, let's have a quick look at the... Let's turn the light on behind me so we can get a better look here. Okay, here's a part of the uh, Panzer Mark IV's sashi. Obviously won't be using the uh, barrel bit that's there. Or might do, not sure actually. Here's a little more. The hole. The tracks. All the different guns. Always have been different. Sony sits out the top. I don't think that's available as an option actually in this one. Might be for. Um... Okay, and then there is the tracks. The bottom of the hole. Part of the turret. Not sure if that's actually going to be used. And some other bits. Oh, guys, before I continue, I almost forgot. I did forget with the American set. If you look along the side, it sh again, it shows you the US Marine Star Set, the British Army Starter Set, and the Soviet Army Set. What the artwork on the front is going to be, anyway. I'm quite looking forward to that. Um, it will mean I will have more for this game. Also, there are how to build certain bits. What you need to do, yeah, you don't need the turret. And for other other games, well, you can get other bits. 
from Bolt Action, which I do highly recommend as a game, guys. I have really, really enjoyed Bolt Action. Okay, now, I don't recognise this set, so let's have a look. Okay, so I believe that's... Well, there's a few different bits here. It looks like there's a Russian gun there. Um, I like the bullets, hand grenades, the faces. Again, if you can hear noises in the background, as I said, unfortunately it's the puppy we've got, and he doesn't care that I'm doing videos sometimes. <laughs> so it might be uh, something I have to get used to. It's probably for a medic, or a bo um, box. I know it's a Panzerfaust. It's a rifle. So, um, this actually looks like a really good kit. Much better than the one I got for the D-Day sort of thing. That's an MG42 by the looks of it. Yeah, quite impressed. So there's one of them. So there's one, two, three, four. All the same, guys. They are. Okay, let's open, let's open this up quickly. I believe this is the turret, which will be resin for the. And if I believe, if I'm correct, this is what they call a rift gun. That does look good. Look at the detail on it, guys. I mean, whoever makes this, if it is Warlord, good on you. If it is Clockwork Goblin, good on you, because these look really good. And I have to say, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you do with the British Army as well. Being British myself, it, you know, I like. Okay, here's your pin tokens. And what I like about these is, can, I don't know if you can see it. If I come in a bit closer, can you see the numbers there, guys? They will make, uh, you know, they've got 1 to 12. Instead of piling up a load of pin markers next to something, you have that. Okay, so now let's... Oh, some more stands. Now let's have a look at... I think there's more to see in the American set, if I was honest. Okay, let's have a look at the... I believe these are called... Tutan... 210... In, uh, wow, look at that. These are really... Do you know what? I might even use these for... Um, I'm not sure if that site needs to be cleaned off. I'll check. But they do look good. Another one. Oh, he's missing his arm. Wow, that is... Again, pardon me. That is really, really, really good. Not sure why his arm's back there like that, but yeah, this is this is really cool. You could oh, if I turn that back there, it looks like he's got some holes in his back. That is, and they don't look the same. They all look different so far to me. No, that one actually looks the same as one of the others. No, it is different. I must, no, it is the same. It's the same big hole in the chest. Let's pick it up. Let's have a look. Yeah, it is the same. There's eight of these guys. Yeah, I think I'm starting to go through the same sort of ones now, guys. But they do look really, really cool. Let's have a look what these other ones here are like. Are they made? There may be some differences here. Look at the dent in the helmet. Bullet holes in actually the clothes. I think they've done a really, really good job there. Again, guys, if you hear noises in the background, it's probably the puppy. That's uh, not a good smell. That one just looks amazing. Okay. Alright, let's... Quickly move these this way. Now let's have a look at the spider mech. Well, actually, just before I do that, the, there's some tokens. Or transfers. Again, I apologise, that's the puppy. I hope you don't keep that up. There's the big stand. Okay. 
there's the the hole. The set. That does look cool. Apart from it, here's the legs. That's not what I need. Again, I apologise for the dog barking in the background. Okay. There's about four of those legs, and I think, yeah, they, they do basically look the same, guys. But I'll take them out and show them. And there's the other leg. Okay, there is the, I believe one is a light cannon and the other one's a machine gun, but I could be wrong here, guys. Or options for different upgrades for them. There's the driver. Does look cool. There is what they can look like, the German Grenadiers. There is the how to build them. And there is the Warlord website. Okay guys, my name is Light of Hand. If you've liked this video, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please do. If you'd like to... If you'd like to leave a comment, feel free. Any feedback I, I get is appreciated. Have a good day.